Hello everybody, today I'm going to be talking about dorm essentials and as someone who just had to move out of the dorms, I was slowly recounting everything that I ended up using and things that I did not end up using. So I wanted to mention quite a few things. Keep in mind, I'm going to mention if some of these things are applicable if you are roommates or maybe if you don't, I will, you know, try to be as specific as possible. This is just going off, off of my experience from my college, so things might be slightly different. So I'll try to mention where things will differ from college to college. But overall, these are all things that I'm pretty sure most college students who are going to be living in the dorms will need. So the first one, you definitely need sheets for your bed and the sizing depends on your college. You should find the sizing on the student housing website for your school. Personally for my school and a lot of schools it is a twin extra long. Personally I got two sets and this was because when I washed one I wanted to put another one on. However if you wash yours during, during the day you can just like leave the bed and just you know get them back but I just thought it would be nice to switch them out you know every other week so you definitely need at least one in addition to that I would strongly recommend a comforter and I would put a sheet around it just so that you know it doesn't get so dirty you, you never know what your other roommates might be you know doing or whatever and you know when you have food especially because my roommates had like tons of old food it trust me it's just better to be safe than sorry you definitely also need a fitted sheet for your bed and the loose sheet for your bed. These are all just, you know, simple things. I like I also got like a backup of these. I already had some at home, so I just kind of used the ones I had at home. I did have to buy the twin extra long though for the main one for my bed, but yeah. In addition to this, I would recommend a blanket and a pillow. I don't believe my bed came with pillows, so I just got this nice memory foam pillow that we had at home that I've been using at home because I didn't plan on coming home like oh super often and so that was like my main pillow got pillowcases as well and I just brought one blanket you know if I need to wash it it's gonna get washed during the day I didn't feel like I needed a backup for that the next one definitely depends on your school and basically a little bit of cost benefit analysis and that is a microwave slash fridge most schools don't include the microwave slash fridge in the room and personally um i had the option to rent it from the school and i chose that because i only planned on living with the school for one year so i got that and if you were living for more than one year with the school i would recommend actually buying this because um the renting fee ends up being more than how much it would cost to buy a microwave and a fridge because you can easily buy microwaves and fridges for like a mini fridge for like 60 and 80 and the rental cost after two years just ends up being more it is also about the convenience too so just keep that in mind personally my school kind of messed up with my fridge i ended up getting it late and it just ended up being a whole mess so sometimes it is better to buy your own i would definitely coordinate this with your roommates if you have any though um it ends up being cheaper that way the microwave and fridge situation also depends on your school's meal plan um i know a lot of schools does like the swipe system which is you get 21 swipes per day you can use it for whatever meals you want my school does unlimited swipes for whatever for all seven days monday through friday or sunday through thursday so you have any of those options and i chose a five-day meal plan so i definitely felt like i would sometimes need to refrigerate stuff but i feel like if you have a seven-day meal plan you don't need to buy outside food so i also feel like your decision to get a fridge or not would depend on that the next dorm essential which i definitely needed and found extremely useful is an extension cord i actually got two i put one near my desk because my desk was not near my bed and then I put another one near my bed. Near my bed, I had one for charging my tablet, my iPhone, my AirPods, and my Fitbit. So yeah, I definitely needed that. I also got one with a couple of USB spots because, you know, having a ton of overloading the electrical thing, the cord, I just, I didn't think it was a good idea. Also, my roommate wanted to use my cord too, so I just... It was better for information because there were two spots for USB and there were another four spots. So I so I used about like three or four spots. I also had a lamp too, so that also went in there. So definitely useful. I also had one by my bed and I mean sorry by my desk and that one had like plugged in my laptop, the lamp. Um, I also put up these fairy lights around my room. Yeah, I I used a lot, but it was really nice. I I just think two electrical cords, um, extension cords will do it for you for most people. Definitely don't need more than two. And you can definitely find them for cheap on Costco's website and I've seen them at Target and Walmart. If you have family that gives you gift cards, 
I would definitely recommend just getting it wherever you get your gift cards. It's just, you don't need to spend extra money, you know. The next one is a knockoff Instapot because I found one at Bed Bath & Beyond and I think it was like 15 or 20 bucks. I will try and find it and link it below. It was just this really simple like Instapot thing. If you put noodles or pasta or anything in there, it just cooks it super fast and you're good. It's just like, it's like a, it's like a cook. It's like a cooker like it just it does a really good a pressure cooker sorry it just does a really quick job it's really fast it's just like boiling you know um, pasta in a pot on your stove this is just you know you don't have a stove so this is easier this way i would also recommend a kettle but i once again think this depends if you have roommates or not if you don't have roommates just bring your own kettle you never know when you want it some you know ramen noodles or whatever but if you have a roommate personally like i bought a kettle because i didn't know my roommate was bringing one so that one just kind of sat around all year and i just kind of reuse my roommates because it was just more space it was going to take up so definitely coordinate that with your roommates let them see if they you know will let you share and then maybe you can you know buy something else the next one is going to be a caddy for your shower items and i've seen some people just like leave all their shower items in the cubbies in the bathroom at least that's how my dorm worked but i just you never know when someone might just use yours which i don't think i'm not against someone using yours but sometimes it it has hygiene problems so I would just stick with using a caddy and you know it's just like you can put your shampoo body wash so um soaps toothbrush toothpaste just everything in there you can grab it you can just do it all in one go and you don't have to carry like 500 things and just be dropping them the next thing is cheap earphones and why do i say this people always ask you to borrow stuff first of all second of all you never know when you're gonna lose stuff i would just recommend cheap earphones you already have lying around your house if you've ever been on an airplane they always have those like cheap earphones i would just recommend grabbing those you never know when you need them just have an extra pair in your backpack you know sometimes you might forget your you know fancy earphones or maybe you don't want to let people borrow them it's just a good choice there's been multiple times where i wish i had them and when i went back home for a weekend i brought some and it's come in the most used ever the next one has to be extra chargers i remember one time when i came home i forgot to bring my iphone charger bag and i was i was stuck i'm not gonna lie and it's kind of funny because after that I bought, ordered like a three pack of chargers on Amazon and it didn't come really quickly but by the time it came I found another charger in my room, my AirPod charger, which I had t like temporarily lost but it's the same charger as an iPhone charger so I was just using that. But my point is I now had four chargers and it was, I've never lost my charger since then like nothing's ever happened so now I feel kind of stupid because now I have you know three extra chargers and four because I never charge my airpods and iphone at the same time anymore um now that I'm home so it was just very impetuous but my point is you never know I feel like I'm gonna be in a situation where I need an extra charger and now what I do is I put one charger in my backpack and another one in my like backup backpack for work and that way if I ever need a charger I have an extra one in my backpack so I mean you can do something like that or it's just better because sometimes people steal chargers maybe you'll forget it in a coffee shop it's better to be safe than sorry in my opinion here the next one is school supplies and i had to write out a whole list so i would recommend a stapler tape calculator whiteboard markers notebook whiteout scissors post-its push pins and this definitely oh there's no rock this definitely depends on if you have a lot more online assignments or in-person assignments but my school for being pretty technologically advanced had some teachers who just wanted us to turn in in-person essays and stuff so that's why i would definitely utilize those things but also if you can hang up anything on your wall or you have boards on your wall where you can hang up things i would definitely recommend some of the other, th other things like the pushpins are really good for hanging up calendars and pictures so yeah the next is reusable utensils cutlery and bowls and plates once again this depends on what you, if you're the kind of person that'll do the dishes if you are i would also recommend you know the i forget what it is the scrubby thing to clean your dishes and some soap to clean your dishes but if you're not that type and you know you're not going to do it i would just recommend paper plates so that and paper utensils so you can just so you can just easily compost it and that way you're not you know having smelly dishes in your room and it just helps with your laziness so don't worry i wish i had done that i got reusable stuff and sometimes i would forget to wash them so mm, that was not smart the next is organization for your drawers slash hangers so if you definitely have a closet obviously grab hangers but if you have only drawers i would recommend you know some sort of organization for that so personally I would I would use like these kind of boxes so I would just cut off these parts with a exacto knife or box cutter and I would just put them in my drawers and they were really good I can just you know I can store like all my pants together and all my other stuff together and it was just like 
free organization because you're ordering a ton of things you know from online and amazon and then this was just an easy way to store everything the next stuff is personal grooming stuff and once again i have a large list here so just so, because i didn't want you guys to forget anything and that would be like brushes combs um if you're someone who uses hot tools um you know just like a standard curling iron and straightener and a blow dryer hair ties nail cutter and deodorant basically anything that you might need but you know things that you definitely need like you can't go without a nail cutter let's be honest you got to be cutting those nails every week or every other week or however long it takes you to grow your nails so these are just essentials the next thing i would recommend is either the commando strips to hang stuff on the wall and these are these no damage ones they don't peel paint off the wall they're amazing they also have these hooks in case you want to hang up maybe your bags or maybe you want to hang up you know frames and pictures so these are just they're no damage and you'll definitely use them uh, as long as you have pictures and stuff you want to hang up I know most people like to hang up any sort of pictures to just personalize their zoom personalize a room and I think this is the easiest way without damaging the walls and getting in trouble with the school. The next has to be loose leaf paper and it's just like sometimes you know you have to remember something sometimes you know your teacher's like oh does anyone have paper for office hours even if you do everything on like your tablet I would still recommend just some loose leaf paper you never know when you need scratch paper in the middle of exam because despite my school being like fairly technologically advanced and putting everything online their exams are not online because they can 100% prevent cheating so I would just you'll never know when you need the loose leaf paper you know you might need scratch paper so yeah the next has to be under the bed storage and it's really hard to measure this until you're there but personally like mine was kind of high and i got super flat boxes so i mean it ended up working out but yeah you can put boxes under there i also put some what is it called the under the bed shoe storage that ended up being really great because i got an excessive amount of shoes and it just fit and even if you have like the top bunk you definitely are like one person's definitely not going to use all the space under there there's tons of space it's just easy for you know oh maybe you're in a place that's really cold and it's summer and it has like actual seasons unlike california and maybe you need you know you put your winter gear somewhere this would be the perfect way of course if you were unsure about the sizing of anything i would definitely say you can hold out amazon will have cheap options or walmart walmart does a lot of free delivery and stuff so it's okay to wait for last minute for this one but uh especially if you are somewhere where you can't go home every weekend i would recommend doing the under the bed storage depending on the kind of school you go to most schools you will probably need a bike classes are gonna be really far away from each other personally i go to a school that you literally bike to every class it was an agriculture school service things far apart so not only did i get a bike i got a used one i got it for 75 bucks but i spent like 75 dollars on the seat anyways it was a good investment i liked it i also got a helmet too because safety matters helmet hair don't care is like the stupid pledge they do around campus but a lot of people don't wear helmets and you know it can prevent a lot of deadly accidents so yeah it depends on your school again i'm sure your website the school website will recommend okay we recommend you know most people have a bike bikes are just in my opinion more efficient and if most people on campus are doing it i would just recommend doing it you get a class faster you can get to places faster you don't have to depend on other modes of transportation that may not necessarily be reliable the next one once again depends on your school at my school if you wanted to print anything you had a service center for the dorms and you had 200 50 prints per quarter so that's like every 10 weeks trust me no one ever uses that up it's it's really nice you can just print it the only thing is you can't connect your personal laptops so you did if you did anything on a word doc you'd have to email it to yourself go there send in your email blah 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 if you had google docs not that hard but if you had something like photoshop i would recommend it's really difficult like if you had a platform that the school computers didn't have you basically can't print it out it's just really difficult for that matter so Depending on if your school has a printer, I would po potentially recommend a printer. But once again, I would do my research because for some schools, they do include the prints. So it's not necessarily smart to spend $100 on a printer, which doesn't even include the ink and the paper. However, if you have two roommates like I did and you guys are all willing to split the cost, it might be smart to get a printer. Once again, this is something you would talk out with your roommates and see if they are able to work something out in terms of a printer and going along with that potentially a flash drive if you're taking classes like media classes where you need to print out things that aren't in you know the standard formats of word docs and pdfs and stuff like i said maybe photoshop or some other fancier form you might need to put the files on a flash drive to take places especially if you want to print it on the lab computers and stuff so that is something to consider yeah but that would also really depend on the classes you're taking i don't seem to find myself using a lot of flash drives i'm a stem major 
I always can just email stuff to myself, so I've never found that necessary. So once again, this depends on the kind of student you are in terms of like what classes you would be taking or what your major is. The next one is towels. And once again, I would recommend two or three. I tend to use a towel for one, uh, two or three days, let it dry, let dry, air dry between those days. And then I'll go onto a new towel and I will obviously wash it every time I do my laundry. But you definitely can't, I, I just don't think it's maybe hygienic to survive with just one towel. I'm sure it's possible if you're doing your laundry every, the day, every other day, but that would get expensive and kind of tiring in my opinion. So yeah, I would definitely recommend two to three towels. The next thing I would recommend is an extra set of drawers and they're just these plastic drawer bins or they're, re they're really small They fit right next to my desk my roommate also both my roommates had one They really don't take up that much space. So it was really easy to just you know incorporate into the structure of a room I would definitely look uh, look up like what your room formats gonna be like I sorry layouts gonna be like I looked up ours online and you could see that this would easily fit So that's what like allowed it to work. The next thing is medicine. You never freaking know when you're gonna have a headache or a cold and you don't want to have to go out when you're sick or you don't want to have to make your friend you know go out and look for medicine you know when they're busy and stuff so i recommend just having backup medicine on hand just you know a tiny bottle of aspirin or a tiny container of flu medicine you get a lot more sick in college like i've gotten sick at least twice in the last quarter and it's just in the last two quarters and so it's just it's better to just have it on hand, just take it so you can just rest and you don't have to worry about 500 other things. The last essential I am including is a laundry basket and you are definitely not going to survive without a laundry basket. I, you, I would definitely recommend something that can fit in small spaces that's like fairly tall. I have one that's kind of tallish that fit in my armoire, like a little closet thing. That was really good in my opinion. You need a way to get your laundry from your room to the laundry room because I don't I don't know if all schools have laundries on in the same building as them maybe it's in a different building there's no way you can there's no way you can just carry all your clothes if you can then you're not putting enough laundry in there which means you're wasting energy money and you could also do a bin i also thought about that if you have one of the long cloth bag ones it does give you privacy if you're bothered by that but it also gives you the convenience of being able to carry it uh easier so yeah those are things you want to consider when you get one i'm sure most people find a way to you know incorporate theirs into their room so you might not necessarily need to buy another one if you have enough at home or you can use the laundry basket working at home but just remember you don't want something that takes up too much space you could also try something flat and see if that fits under the bed for when you're storing it those are all my dorm essentials i hope you guys enjoyed it and found it informative i kind of want to do a part two because i feel like i missed a couple and i'm probably going to think about more after i've uploaded this video i also want to do one where i talk about things you don't need to bring so if you would find either of those videos informative and helpful let me know if you have any questions as well leave it in the comments i will be happy to answer uh, otherwise don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and have an amazing day